This is Janet. Mickey York from Northampton bought a 119-year-old Janet from a woman who passed away in Texas. You've got a haunted 119-year-old doll that blinks and makes them sick. Uh, the doll, which was owned by a woman in Texas until she passed away in 2016, was so intimidating to her family, they were prepared to do anything to get rid of her. The story of Janet that was played out on the famous Darkness Radio. Now Mickey, who sometimes has to pick between the doll or his family. I wonder if anything happens to him. Hi guys, and welcome to another video. This is Janet. So over the years, there's been many, many newspaper reports, radio stories about Janet the Doll. Now, some of you may be new to the channel. Some of you may have been with me from the start when I initially got Janet the doll from Julie in Texas. Quick rundown, she makes most people feel ill, sick, chest pains whenever they're in her presence. So what you're about to listen to is the story of Janet that was played out on the famous Darkness Radio over in America. Now they picked up the story probably around, I think it was July 2022 when stories of Janet were, were in the press, in the UK, in America, and some in Europe. So yeah, let's have a listen, see what they have to say. Now I will warn you, some of the bits are not exactly correct. Into the darkness we go. Into the darkness we go as we, as we start to wrap up our program for today. Um, this one is bizarre. Okay, so there are certain things that will keep your family from visiting you. Maybe you don't shower for a week. That'll happen. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe the house isn't, isn't in order. Maybe you've got clutter everywhere. Or maybe, Bruiser, you've got a haunted 119-year-old doll that blinks and makes them sick. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll yeah. keep the family away. Um, Mickey York from Northampton bought a 119-year-old Janet from a woman who passed away in Texas with their family paying to send the doll to the UK as they were scared of her. The owner of a 119 year old doll claims his family and friends won't visit as she gives them chest pains and blinks at guests. Uh, Mickey York from Northampton has to lock Janet the doll away in his shed due to her giving his friends and family chest pains. Can't even be in the house, huh? Nope. I love a good haunted doll. I think these most are of us great. Do. Yeah. What's that? I think most of us do. Yeah, I, I think it's great. Uh, the doll, which was owned by a woman in Texas until she passed away in 2016, was so intimidating to her family, they were prepared to do anything to get rid of her, which meant even paying for her to be removed. In 2016, the 42-year-old decided to take ownership of Janet and Mickey, uh, who was initially very excited because the family in Texas paid for her to be sent over to the UK, saw it as a sign of eagerness to get rid of the doll. And now Mickey, who sometimes has to pick between the doll or his family, as he admitted to the Metro, she is definitely not welcomed by my family. Uh, <laughs> since, having her, uh, having, since having her a lot has happened, uh, there's been a moment when Janet has been captured blinking on camera, or e even though she doesn't actually have any eyes. What, really? Yeah, she doesn't have any eyes, but she blinks. That's uh, creepy. I have also had friends around Janet who have had to walk away because they've started feeling chest pains and feeling sick. I wonder if anything happens to him. He does, it doesn't say. Oh, wait, wait, there's more in here. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. When I'm working with Janet, I even feel sick. Okay, there it is. Yep. Yeah. So she doesn't care who you are. No, nope. uh, she's not well liked and people hate her. Huh. Well, yeah, if they're making, her, making you sick, I'd hate somebody that makes me sick. Yeah. He admitted, I knew there must be something serious about her because the family didn't want any money for her and even paid to get her sent over to the UK. 
uh, they really wanted to get rid of her. She had no name uh, when I first got her. Then I discovered what her name was. It was Janet through a, a spirit box session. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so you communicated with her. Uh, yeah, the, you don't want to see the picture I'm looking at. Uh, oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I asked for her name and the spirit that is attached to the doll told me that her name was Janet. The doll, according to Mickey, inexplicably, uh, inexplicably throws herself off his office display each time he walks in as he finds her there lying on the floor helpless like she's <laughs> dodging him and not trying to be found. Here's the picture that I'm going to show you. Oh, that is a creepy doll. It's the picture. Of I like. I like how he has a Ouija board right next to it. Like that's your, that's yeah it. yeah. So Mickey is sitting there watching TV. He's got Janet. They're all on the couch. Mickey's on the left. Janet the doll is sitting right next to him, and right next to Janet is a, is a Ouija board. And then he's got. It looks like an EMF detector, a recorder. Yeah yeah yeah. So he's just trying to open up the third realm of hell to get Janet to talk to him. Yeah. Um. He said, I decided to bring Janet out just to see what would happen. And since she's been on display in my office, I regularly walk in to find her on the floor and there's no way that she could have fallen off. No, she's jumping, you idiot, to get away from you. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, in your office. I am trying to communicate with Janet through a spirit box to find out why she's constantly jumping off the shelf. I've had Janet since 2016 and usually she's kept locked away because she brings such bad feelings to people when they're around her. Uh, Janet has once sworn at Mickey. She even has teeth, but that doesn't put him off or put off him spending time with the, the doll. Uh, he admitted, I got into paranormal investigating after seeing about it on television shows. I wanted to see if it was real, so I went down to my local cemetery to try it out, and I never looked back. I can't wait to see what other experiences I have with Janet in the future. Probably not good ones, dude. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the reason Ed and Lorraine locked Hann uh, Annabelle away. Yep, I can't uh, can't see that ending uh, peacefully. And Zach's got the what is that? Uh, is it Patrick? No, who's he got? He's got. Is it Robert at all? Robert, Robert. No, Robert's the the Navy one, right? That you have to ask permission to take a picture with. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Who's the one that you have to walk in and, and Penny, Polly? It might Penny? be Penny. I think it might be Penny because both Meanie and I were. Uh, went in on that one. I went in and had a good talk with her, and then I guess she swore, swore up a storm at me when I left. Yeah, I had a good talk with her, and then uh, I was standing next to Vincent, um, a Ring of Honor wrestler, and she said his name and told him to get out. <laughs> How did he react to that? He looked at me and was like, whoa. I'm like, yeah, maybe it's time we leave. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't talk he to me. Because you know how you say hello when you walk in? Yeah. You're supposed to say hello? Yep. He didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's like, I'm, I'm going to see what happens when I don't. And then oh. she said his name and yelled at him and told him to get out. Oh, look at that. Yep. She, wouldn't, uh, she wouldn't talk to me. No? Not at all. Mm -mm. Nope. Um, next story. Are you ready for this? So there we go, guys. What do you reckon? Do you think this is a real story? Do you think Janet, the famous haunted doll, would make you upset, would give you ill feelings. Do you think the story of her is real? Now, I'm a witness to this firsthand. She is not nice. And I did a video with her last week using the Necrophonic app. You can watch that video up there. Go check it out after this video ends, obviously. Very proud to be involved with Darkness Radio and for them to pick up the story of Janet the Doll. If you like this video guys just give it a like for me that'd be great leave me a comment that always helps with uh, getting my videos higher up the search engine subscribe to my channel if you are new and if you are hello my name is mickey and i do lots and lots of paranormal and scary things yes and it'd be an honor for me for you guys to join the family more videos on the way see you guys in the next one see you later